Basically every culture believes in a supernatural being as their creator. This comes from the desire of mankind to find a purpose in life and to explain where we come from. When man is looking at something as delicate as a spider's web, some find themselves pondering about how something that perfect could have developed without the existence of a divine plan. In 1859, Charles Darwin published a book called The Origin of Species. Aside from the fact that he never planned to offend the church in any way, he didn't mention the word evolution once. However, his idea was the basis for what scientists call the theory of evolution. Since it is still called a theory, no one can expect proof, just as there is no proof that God exists. The term survival of the fittest is often misinterpreted. It should more precisely be called death of the unfit. When the rabbits were introduced to Australia, they caused populations of marsupials to die out. The rabbits did not attack or kill their competitors, but rather ate their food and occupied their space. The some marsupials went extinct because their niche was occupied by a fitter species. Another interpretation is that animals become better and better over time just by sitting around. Again, this is a passive progress. They don't decide to become better, but those who were not, and not did not, as well adapted to the habitat they lived in, produced less offsprings and over time made room for the more successful individuals. Even when looking at recent spiders, you can basically see most of the different stages that led from hunting animals to those which built the beautiful webs. Based on the fact that most offsprings are not identical copies of their parents, scientists claim that little changes summed up over time can lead to the development of new species, just as breeding leads to new races of dogs. It is rather astonishing how much men have in common with single cells organisms like amoeba, not to mention chimpanzees. Scientists supporting the theory of evolution just try to find an answer to the question, where do we come from, without having to refer to God works in mysterious ways whenever inconclusiveness occurs. Some men are just too arrogant to consider a relationship to filthy monkeys.